Hey guys, and what is going on today? Thanks for stopping back in on the channel. If you guys are new or this is your first time stopping in, be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it, guys. Well, guys, I think we've picked up a few new subscribers here over the last couple of, couple of videos. Uh, from going to Rantoul and the Farm Progress show. So I appreciate all the new subscribers that are here uh, But for all of you that are new we are a regenerative organic uh, Family farm operating out of West Central, Indiana uh, We're farming organically at scale. We've got quite a few acres that we get across uh, And that's what we do. So no chemicals no fertilizers all organic but today I want to go out to some of these fields, uh, compare a few hybrids on corn, see how they're doing, see where we're at. Uh, there's some Becks out there, there's some Pioneer, uh, and some Viking, which would be Albert Lee seeds, which we got out of Minnesota this year. So I've got three companies, four hybrids I want to look at today and see what they're looking like. So. Most of that's within a general couple mile radius here to where we can just hop in the gator and go around. Now, two of the varieties are planted on May the 25th and two of the varieties are planted on May the 26th. So that's kind of the time frame. Both fields in the fall had 60 pounds of cereal rye, 10 pounds of vetch, and five pounds of clover. So that's the cover crop that was out there. Obviously it all grew through the winter. We planted the corn into it green. The rye was probably six, six feet tall or so. Then we came in, planted, came back a few days later and rolled it all flat with the roller crimper. So the corn then became to about the V1, V2 growth stage and we dumped about 12,000 pounds of liquid manure on it. So both fields here that I'm gonna show you have had the same application done identically. So I just want to see how the hybrids are going to compare to each other and uh, let's see some yield counts out there. Today is September the uh, 4th or 5th maybe. So I just want to get out there, see what things look like. So let's get a set of wheels, go out to the field and uh, see what we can find. Alright guys, so I'm not going to do this like the pro farmer does it. I'm going to do it just a little different. I'm going to come out here, I'm going to pace off my steps to do a basically a stand count for 20 inch rows which is 26 feet uh, 2 inches so I'm going to step that off and then I'm going to pick three random get that count obviously and I'm going to pick three random ears out of that row pull those ears and that's what we'll do these counts on and we'll do that for all four hybrids here so going to be pretty simple going to probably pick like the third eighth and 14th year just something something totally random something totally random so you guys don't think I'm out here just pulling the biggest ear some of you will still probably think that but we're not gonna do that so let's go ahead and get a count here and see how many plants are within our realm and then pull those three ears all right guys so this plant count happened to be 31 so I got three ears here three ears All right, I got my three ears. I'm gonna go back to the gator and mark these down what they are. And uh, let's move on to the next hybrid. All right, this corn came in at 30,000 for the population. So let me grab the three random ears here. Drop that one. So now I got three random ears from this 105 day pioneer. So 30,000, three random ears. Now let's go back and get to the next two hybrids. All right guys, now we're into the Becks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34,000 on this. 
So let's go through and grab these random ears. That one. That one. And let's get this one right here. Okay. Three random Bex ears. Now, we do not have a lot of Bex out this year. We've only got two numbers. Uh, but we do have a good relationship with the people at Bex. Rick's got a good relationship with the guy ahead of their organic side. He's talked at some of their field shows. I used to work at Bex. So we know quite a few people at Bex. We've tried it the last, let's see, three years. Usually it comes in last place. Based off the years that I just pulled there, looks like it might be holding up to what it usually does here, but we'll see. We even put that hybrid on some of the best dirt on this farm here, but that is 109 day. 59R5GH is what that number was. I got one more hybrid I want to pull out of this field. It is 108 day. It is a Viking or that Albert Lee seeds number. So I got one more number I want to pull out of this field. All right, guys. 32,000 on the Viking number. So let's grab these ears off these plants and we'll see what they'll do once we get back to the farm here. All right, guys, we're back. We've got the Pioneer 1197, the Pioneer 0574, uh, the Viking uh, 4808, and the Bex 59R5GH. So 111, 105, 108, 109 day. Let's go ahead and get these ears shucked and see how they count out. So we're not the full dent yet on any of these. Some are more dented than others, but it's pretty well gonna be what it's gonna be. Some of this 111 day stuff's just got a few dents in it. Some of the 108's got quite a few. 109's got a few. 105's got a good chunk of dent. So we're just, we're just starting to dent. But we got them all here. The Bex definitely has the shortest ears. You can tell. There's a Bex ear compared to an 1197 ear, compared to a, another Pioneer ear, compared to a Viking ear. So Bex, not looking great, but the thing it's got going for it is it did have the best stand count. All right, guys, so on the 111 day Pioneer, three years, 40 by 16, 32 by 20, and 26 by 20. 105 day Pioneer was a 38 by 16, 35 by 18, 37 by 14. On the backs, it was a 27 by 16, 31 by 16, and a 26 by 16. On the Viking 108 day, it was 27 by 20, 30 by 18, and 30 by 20. So now that we got the three ears, I'm going to do the math, get the kernels per ear, and then we'll add them all up, divide by three, and we'll use the average amount of kernels per ear to get this average for each hybrid. And we'll just, for this little, this little trip we took out there, we'll just see who comes out on top and just kind of gives us a rough, rough estimate of where things should be. And I've done plenty of yield checks throughout the year. Uh, so... I just take a random guess at what the stand count has been. I think I've been using 30 and all of my math stand counts for 30 or a little bit better. So let's just see where these numbers come out. Now with these counts, I'm just going to go ahead and just use 90,000 kernels in a bushel. Just a, kind of an average number. I think ours are, most of these years are probably a little better, but for this purpose sake, we will go with 90,000 kernels in a bushel.
All right, guys, I've got the math done. I'll honestly, I'd be happy with any of these coming through the combine. Uh, in last place, we have got Bex Hybrids 59R5GH coming in at 170 bushel to the acre with this little test. Now, if some of this stuff came into like 169.5, I just rounded up to 170 just for a whole easy math here. Uh, coming in at third place, Pioneer P0574, which is Pioneer 105 day, coming in at 195 bushel to the acre. So that leaves us with the Pioneer 1197 and the Viking 4808. So uh, go ahead down in the comments. Let me know who you think is going to win right now. Go ahead. Post her down in the comments, guys, who you think is going to win. I'll give, you, I'll give you a few seconds to go down there. I'll give you just a few seconds. Did you guys write her down? Do you got her down there in the comments? I better see several comments down there, guys. And can I have a drum roll, please? And the winner is... Pioneer. 1197 so the pioneer 1197 was the best one out there coming in at 207 bushel to the acre and the viking 4808 coming in at 199 bushel to the acre so all good corn all good corn I'm happy with all that for organic so the pioneer 1197 takes the cake there that is your winner 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 chicken dinner for this little test now with all that being said am i did i pick the best parts of the field probably not did i take the easy access right off the road yeah i probably went out 200 feet off the past the inroads so well into the field for all of these hybrids now did i necessarily get to the best dirt no but am i going to get a pretty rough accurate representation of what this field could do absolutely absolutely so there will probably be some better spots than that in the field and there will be some worse spots than that in the field but who knows i'll be tickled to death if the corn out here averages 160 170 180 that would be awesome we're not out here trying to break yields with the highest yield in the county we are just trying to make the most on our investment here and be as profitable as we can uh, to keep doing what we love so just a fun little video, guys. Just trying to see out of these four hybrids who would prevail and who would take the cake. Well, hopefully you guys guessed right. I hope you did. If not, delete your comment, write another one, and guess again. But, guys, I think that's probably going to do it for this video. Just a, just a little video here. This nice, beautiful weekend we're having in Indiana. Out looking at some corn, seeing how things are coming along. A couple of those hybrids are well into dent. Some are just starting to dent. So we got a little bit of a ways to go yet. Hopefully around uh, first of next month, we could probably get in and start shelling some corn, I hope. First of October, that would be pretty ideal. We could hammer out some corn, you know, get it at, uh, I'd take it at 25, 26%, that'd be just fine. Hammer out some corn, get her in the bin, get her dried, get her back into the other bin. So we'll see what happens. But guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Can't thank you enough for subscribing and watching, and we will see you on the next one.